Hello, we have a new month of favourites for you. We're going to be talking like fashion, beauty, the usual, maybe TV show, maybe book. Let's let's get Not into books. that. Spoilers. Not books. <laughs> I have a book. Okay, well let's get there. One book. Where do we start? Usually beauty. Mm. This is Glossier Boy Brow, which if you watch our videos, I mentioned I don't really use it that much, but I really like it. Well, guess what's in my favourites this month? Glossier Boy Brow. What changed? Um, I think I just got really stressed and tired and lazy, and this is one product, and I just go, mm, mm, and then it's done. It's a bit more subtle than some of the other eyebrow products I've been using, but now when I use my eyebrow pencil, I'm like, whoa, eyebrows. <laughs> You're so used to this. I'm so used to this now. It definitely just adds a lot of volume and some color. It kind of fills in the ball patches a little bit. How does it compare to the Benefit Gimme Brow? Pretty comparable. I feel like they're similar price, aren't they? I don't know. They're like very, very similar, like Benefit Boy Brow's got a oh, very wow. same, similar brush. Looks identical. Almost identical. Similar colouring. Um, for us, Glossy is quite hard to get, so when this runs out, I probably will get like a Benefit one or a cheaper one. But yeah, I've been quite enjoying that lately. It's just, it's just so easy when it's 6am and you're like, I can't be bothered doing my makeup. You just kind of quickly do it. So my first beauty favourite is a skin oil. I absolutely love skin oils. I love how hydrating they can be and this one in particular has been amazing as you can tell. I've used like a lot. This one there is not much left. I know and I haven't even had this for that long but I'm just like every night I'm just like yes skin oil. This is from the brand Love Skin. It's uh, New Zealand made I'm pretty sure. Yeah I'm pretty sure it's a New Zealand brand. Yeah. Made in New Zealand. Yeah. Yes it is. And this particular one is the YY Facial Serum. They have quite a few different skin oils. This one is just particularly for people with sensitive skin. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. I really recommend it if you're looking to purchase some like more like New Zealand branded skin gear. So this makeup item I feel like was in our makeup favorites like four years ago. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. That is a throwback right um, there. It has like a little puffy top thing and you twist to make the product come out. It used to not be available in New Zealand but now it is a few many years they later. It used to be such like a beauty cult like yeah, cult, cult product, product. That everyone Well wanted. so basically it's available in supermarkets now and I had reached a point where my winter foundation was entirely too pale for me right. which was a surprise to everyone <laughs> um, and I needed something just to tied me over and I got this which I was just kind of spot applying to a few areas and spreading it out for quite a natural look and I love it. I bought another one. It's not a foundation but I use it as a foundation <laughs> and it made me remember why I loved it so much. Like I was obsessed with this product in like when? Probably oh to 2016, We should try and find an old video of me using try. it and cut back to it. Then for the under eye area I just used this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and blended that in with a little brush. My next beauty favourite is kind of an old one as well. It's the YSL Black Opium Perfume that I've had for ages. And I'm the kind of person, when it comes to perfumes, when there's a really nice one, I'm like, oh, it's too nice to use every day. <laughs> Which sounds really silly, but... And I've registered that it's really silly because I'm now using this one every day. And I really like it because it's got kind of like... I don't know, I'm bad at describing scents, but it, it just feels... Feels it's like very warm. It feels warm. It's a warm scent. It makes me feel quite like spunky. 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 <laughs> I don't know. It just has like it's, a cool, edgy feel yeah. to it. It's not like a grandma or no. florally or like sweet or girly scent. Mm, it's, it's got a, a very kick. strong scent. And it's also not like old lady at all. Yeah. Exactly. Or like powdery or florally. It's just quite. It's good. It's nice. If you're interested, maybe Google what's actually in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been using a lot recently. Okay, next up, fashion favorites. What do you got for us, Tara? Okay. <laughs> you the will, famous shoes. The famous shoes. If you have seen our recent um, thrift challenge video, you recognize these. These are the La Tribe slides that I found for $10 at Save Bart, which was like the bargain of a century, um, and I really enjoy wearing them. They're just so easy to check on, especially on like these kind of hot days. I found I've quite enjoyed wearing sandals with like pants and a couple of layers to the office because we've got this weird transition time between it being really hot outside but the aircon's cold but then the aircon gets hot and they're just so easy and they're very pretty and 
They were so much cheap. <laughs> Where's your fashion favorite? On my butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my fashion favorite is also from our Save Mart haul and adventure, and it is my denim shorts. Should I stand up or should I try to just cut? Just put the cutaway from the video. Yeah, we'll use the cutaway from the video. But I love these shorts. I've really wanted a pair of high waisted denim shorts for a while, but for some reason I find them really hard to find. Like they're not as common as just your, like, your standard mid rise denim shorts. Um, but I really like these. They're a little bit like showing off my butt. They're quite short, but I've embraced it. But in a good way. Yeah, and I really like that I can wear them with just like a t-shirt or I can dress them up a little bit and I can wear them with my Gucci belt. So my next favorite is also from a recent video. I just realized they're unbuttoned, but also when I hold them up, they just look really good. <laughs> <laughs> These are the wide leg um, nude jean from Kmart. And I've bought a few Kmart jeans recently because one, they make them all out of BCI cotton. So that's the Better Cotton Initiative cotton. So it's better for the people and environment. Um, and two, I don't have much money, so they're very affordable and they fit nicely. So these are in a wide leg. You will have seen them in my recent um, work outfits of the week video. I've been really enjoying this creamy white color. It just goes with everything and they're really comfy. Good for the work day. They're quite stretchy. It's, it's good for sitting at a desk. My next fashion favorite. Are you ready for it? Oh, of course. <laughs> Which you've also made a video about. Yes, I did a what's in my bag video and kind of like a reveal and review. Um, this is the Givenchy Antigona and the size medium and I freaking love it. Oh my gosh, it's everything that I wanted. Um, and I did buy it second hand so it's like a little beaten up in some areas but I kind of like that because I don't have to stress about making like that first scratch on your bag. It does not look beaten up at all, Ellen. I know, it is in really good condition. And like it's really easy to look after, like I... This morning I picked it up and it had weird spot. Oh, you can see it a bit there. It had these weird spots, almost like it had like an oil stain and it was like all over around the handles. I have no idea where it came from, but I just got like a damp cloth and wiped it and now like it just looks brand new again. It's so shiny and beautiful. Um, and I love a designer handbag that is hard wearing. I don't see the point in buying something like a Chanel lambskin bag that you wear once and then it scratches and it looks ugly or yeah. I love you want to be able to wear them lots. Yeah, and I take this a lot like to yoga and out to cafes and put my laptop in it. I took it when I went away to the beach for the weekend. So, you know, I like to use my handbags, <laughs> not baby them. So, my favorite TV show has probably got to be Altered Carbon purely from the fact that the new season came out. I would watch the first season and it was really good. But the new season came out and the way they structure their episodes is they leave you on a cliffhanger and then you're like, oh, okay, I've got to watch the next one. And then you're like, oh my goodness, it's midnight. I have work <laughs> it's, tomorrow. It's one of those shows. <laughs> it's one of those shows. And then you next, the next day you're like, get home from work and you're like, oh my god, i got to watch it. You've got to stop it like partway through the episode if you have to stop, just so that you're not on a cliffhanger and you can go to sleep. Um, but it's... It's kind of, it's like a sci-fi futuristic TV show about a future where people's brains can be downloaded into little like stacks of technology in the back of your head so people basically live forever and oh, yeah. it's very like political drama around that and a little bit John Wicky like there's a badass main character that you're making Lots me want to watch it. It's, it's good. You it should watch like, it. It keeps coming up on my it recommendations. Probably, it probably keeps coming up recommended. But yeah, but I, I just I look at it and I'm like, I don't know what that is. Like, well, Altered Carbon is a really weird name. It's a sure. weird name. <laughs> the new season, because like because your brain can be downloaded into different bodies, they can have different actors every season. So ah. this season is Anthony Mackie. He's the main guy and he was pretty good in it. I enjoyed it. I don't have a TV show because I did watch The Witcher since we like last did a favorites video. That was Tara's favorites. And then I got, I don't think I was watching it then. And then I got hooked yeah, on haven't. it. And I just like binged it in like five days, which is impressive because they're really long episodes. Yeah. And it's just so good, I loved it. But um, that's not your favorite? That is not my favorite. And it's not really a TV show, it's a documentary series on YouTube about oh, Justin Bieber. I, <laughs> I was gonna say, I have another favorite that's a documentary series, it's not this one. It's not Justin Bieber? No. Okay, so hear me out. I was like not a super Justin Bieber fan, like 
probably in high school, I wasn't, you know, I listened to his music, but I didn't go to his concerts or anything. I was more One Direction than mm, Justin Bieber. Like same. Well. And then in recent years, I haven't really listened to like much of his music. I was just like, okay, he's like, you know, he grew up, he went and drinking drugs, and I was like, not mm, about that life. All the, the tattoos. Uh, but this documentary series, it's very similar in a way to the Taylor Swift documentary series where it's just very open, very honest, talking lots about mental health and relationships and life in the spotlight and all these like young celebrities like growing up with that kind of like immense pressure and I just find, found it like really eye-opening and really interesting and now I'm like back on the Justin bandwagon. <laughs> You guys have to actually go watch it though, and not just like judge me and be like, oh, look at this girl, she's just a, just a beaver fan girl. It is actually quite interesting. Yeah. Um, before we completely move on, I also had another TV show favorite because you reminded me talking about documentaries. Wow, I'm boring you, yeah. I? <laughs> so this is a documentary series which you can find on Neon, which has been produced by Mark Wahlberg, which wasn't the reason I watched it, but after I found it out, I was like, oh, I love Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It is called McMillions. It's about the McDonald's Monopoly game in America and how there was like a massive amount of fraud around it. So there was oh, a like whole the, lot of people. The app. No, like you know the mon Monopoly pieces on the yeah that you buy and then you peel off. Yeah. In America, you they in that. Well, no, that's how they do it now. But it started in like the seventies, eighties. Uh. So it was like physically you mailed it in. But there was a whole lot of fraud of people getting fake pieces and then getting millions of dollars. Mm. So it's very interesting about like how they did it and who was involved and the FBI investigation and there's this one really hilarious FBI agent in it. It's good. It's so good random and so specific but intriguing. It was very intriguing. <laughs> like we, we were kind of like, oh, I don't know what to watch, let's watch this. And then we started watching it and we we're like, I'm so intrigued. It was good. It's a well produced documentary series. So to finish off we have books. I don't Tara doesn't have a book, but I have one. <laughs> I've actually been reading a lot of like books the past few months and a lot of like self-help books and self-development and that kind of thing. I probably and need to read more books like that. Well, well this is why I wanted to bring it up because a lot of them are terrible. Like oh, I really? bought this one that was a number one bestseller, had like a recommendation from Oprah Name on the front color. It was called The Power, uh, Color? Cover. It was called The Power of Now and oh. I just found it too like philosophical and the Big, the majority of the book, the way it was structured, it was like you were reading an FAQ. Like it was like he'd come up with a question and the question was meant to be like coming from you as a reader. It would be like, so Mark, or whatever his name was, what happens if I think this, 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 question mark? And he'll be like, well, and then he'd like answer it. And it was just so boring to read. And then it was just really like too phil philosophical. Whereas the book that I love is the one that Tara lent me. Oh. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F Peep because I can't say that word on YouTube. Or else well, they don't actually guys. say it on the book cover either. Exactly. But I just, it was the kind of self-help book that I really related to because it was really funny and it was mm. easy to read and it was so such like practical advice. Like it'd say something and you're like, that's so straightforward, I can actually do that in my mm. life and it makes sense. And, and you're kind of like, up. why haven't I done that? Yeah. That's so easy. And he'd make references to like Spider-Man mm. and Yoda and just the way he wrote it was so funny. And it's I, a very engaging book. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. The reason I don't have a favourite book yet is because I'm still reading the follow-up book to this, so hopefully I'll finish it sometime and soon. You can give it to me. Yeah. Okay, so that is our favorites video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.